Hey everyone. Uh, real quick, I've just ducked out of a meeting, a co-working meeting that I was having with uh, one of my awesome, awesome uh, mentoring groups. And uh, we were having this really funny conversation and I was just saying, like, I have to come and record my video blog for the week and I sort of, I didn't really have a good idea. Anyway, we had this hilarious conversation and I thought I had to come and share it here. So uh, a lot of the people that are on this group with me are based over in the US and uh, I'm sure most of you would have seen the news over the last few days with some of what's happening on over there. Um, everybody that I'm in touch with is all safe and happy and well, which is awesome. And uh, we were just we were just talking about some of like navigating some of that difficulty around politics and religion, and particularly with the clients you work with, and you know people bring stuff up. And um, and so one of the people on this call shared this really funny story. She said um, she she was feeling very kind of like. By, almost bipolar yesterday with um, two clients, very, very differing points of view. Uh, so one person at one end of the spectrum uh, in terms of what was happening with uh, the Capitol building and things going on and all the, all the goings on there. And then one person at almost the other end of the spectrum that had a very different interpretation. And she said she, it happened a couple of times yesterday. She had a meeting back to back with each of these clients and was sort of not – without agreeing but just trying to sort of get through the conversation a little bit without you know putting your foot wrong or um you know not necessarily agreeing with what's being said but like working your way through one of those awkward sticky conversations and sort of not really wanting to sign up to what was being said but at the same time not really in a position to start a conversation where opinions are going to get heated and stuff starts flying right and so she said she had these two phone calls back to back and then it happened again to her later in the day. She had two posts on her newsfeed pop up um, and, and same thing, very polarized views. And so this, we, were, we were giggling about that and, um, and that sort of idea, you know, she said she found herself sort of nodding along and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and sort of kind of passively agreeing. And at that point, I started laughing and I said, well, I actually take it one step further than that now. So if I find myself in that really awkward conversation... Um, and I don't know if it's the project manager in me or quite what, but I said, I've actually even stopped saying yes. And I've stopped sort of nodding along. So I've gone past that point of yes, not to you know, like not saying yes, because you agree, but saying yes, because you're hearing what somebody's saying. So I actually, I've gone further than that now. And so what I, what I say now, when I find myself in those awkward situations is I'll often say, I hear what you're saying or I understand what you've said. And this happened to me a few weeks back. And I relayed the story to the team. I was sitting in a meeting representing a client, um, another client uh, project manager sort of across the table. And uh, this person was trying to project manage me, which doesn't usually go too well. Uh, but, you know, he was sort of saying, well, you're going to do this and you're going to do this and your client's going to sign up for this. And uh, I, I wasn't even nodding. So there's three other people in the room. And the first time I said it, the guy in the corner who was the engineer and not management picked up on it. And I said, I hear what you've said, or I hear what you're saying. Anyway, this guy keeps going and you're going to do this and there's all these things. And, you know, just that classic, um, I, I guess, pushing onto somebody else so that you win the negotiation, like just classic posturing stuff going on. Anyway, the third time I said, I hear what you're saying, or I understand what you've said. You could see there was this moment of realization in his eyes where all of a sudden he, you could see him twig and he's like, you're not saying yes. And then there was, we finished the meeting and it was slightly awkward for him, but the guy in the corner was almost chuckling to himself because he could see what was going on. And so I said to Dan, I have to jump off this phone call that I'm on, on with you now. I have to go and do my video blog because this is just the funniest thing that's happened this week. And, um, and I need to go and share that with my crew. So that's my little secret ninja hack for when you find yourself in a situation where you don't want to say yes, you don't want to sign up, you know, how do you, how do you hold that space and sort of awkwardly get through that conversation? And it, it doesn't have to be about religion or politics or any of that. You know, it can be that slightly awkward commercial negotiation. It can be, um, you know, all sorts of situations where somebody's, putting their opinion out there <laughs> and you're not necessarily signing up for it. And so uh, my challenge to you this week is to take it one step further than not only, so don't say yes because you've heard them. 
actually voice that you have heard what they've said without acknowledging or without saying yes, because I think you'll find it gets some really interesting reactions when people pick up that this is what you're doing and that you are actually standing on your own two feet and you're not, you're not agreeing and you're not just going along with it, but you've heard what they've said and you're acknowledging them as a human being and you're hearing the words that are coming out of their mouth and you're understanding what they're saying. Uh, That's, that's my little ninja hack for the next time you find yourself in one of those tricky conversations. So Uh, That's a bit of a giggle from me, just a quick one this week. I'm going to go and jump back on this call um, with this group of awesome, awesome people. Um, We call ourselves the Mighty Doers, super cool group of people. Um, I'm going to go jump back on and have a bit more of a chat with them and keep going with my morning. But I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having an awesome, awesome day. Take care and uh, we'll see you again next week.